declared to us. Just like the trees have changed color out there, surely you you notice that, right? It's it's when you he says when you see the change of the season, know that time is close. So shouldn't we smile and say, that time's close. And Lord, how do I move closer to you out of the mud puddle of being a mud turtle? How do I get from being a mud turtle to being a sheep? Shouldn't that be our objective? And here's the thing. You can't change yourself, but you can come to God, learn how to form up and do things his way, and he can change you from a mud turtle that loves to wallow in the mud. He can change you into a sheep. He's coming back after his precious lambs, and you can start today. Look at yourself and see if you're a mud turtle and say, Lord, You've got great power, and you can change this. You can change this. So with that, there's always this issue of us having walked in the world, having bad thoughts, bad ways, selfish ways, being indignant towards God because he set such rules. See, God's rules are you guys are dead unless I intervene. You guys will be cast away from me forever and ever unless I intervene. And I've come to intervene and give you a choice of whether you want to die or you want to be an eternal creature in my presence. I came to give you that choice. He didn't come to condemn. He came to give us a choice to keep from being condemned. And of course, the old slew foot slips in there and says just the opposite. No, Jesus came to keep us from being condemned if we will do things his way. So if you have been a mud turtle in your head, if you still have mud on your shell, (laughs) if you still like the slimy things and eat the slimy things that are in the bottom of the mud puddle, And when you realize that's where you are right now. And if that's where you are, we simply begin by saying, Jesus, I don't want to be a mud turtle. Please forgive me. And I want to come to you this day that you can begin to lay your hands upon me and change me and transform me. Uh, the thing is, the changes that come within us occur because he has his hands laid on us. If you're not suited up and formed up and you're out in your mud puddle, he can't lay his hands on you. But if you're with his people in the midst of his presence, in his fellowship, under his word, his spirit is going to come and lay his hands upon you to transform you from being a wild, ugly beast into a precious, precious lamb. It only begins by you saying, Jesus, I don't want to be a mud turtle. Please forgive me. Shall we pray? And Jesus is going to come. If you don't want to be the mud turtle, he'll wash you off. He'll cleanse you. He'll forgive you. And then he will sanctify you so that you can receive a visit from him on this day. Lord Jesus, we humbly come to you and we confess that we're mud turtles, our minds and hearts. We've not fully been formed and we see reptilian actions in some of our thoughts and some of our ways. Oh Lord, we declare we want and need your transformation. We declare we want to become your disciple. I ask you to come and hover over us with your breath, with your heart, and with your mind, causing yourself to be made known. Come and sanctify us, your people. Wash us, your people. And for those who are in between, 
Would you give them confidence that if they will make the right choices, you'll wash them too, and you'll transform them too. We thank you for your tender mercies, your great endurance. We thank you, Lord, that you'll wait till we get back from our little sin party and say, will you follow me now? We say, yes, Lord Jesus, we will follow you. So come and receive our worship. Come and receive our thanks. Come and receive our praise and our adoration forever and ever that you want to come and rescue us. We praise you and we thank you in Jesus' great and powerful and precious name. Amen. Let's stand in worship.
God like you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. How great you are. Oh, how great you are. Thank you, Father, that we can be your people. We can call out for you, Lord. We can bless your name no matter what is going on around us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. 
Before 
worship you.
Take heart, my children. Take heart. Am I not still God upon my throne? I know you are troubled. But ask yourself, why are you troubled? Because if you are troubled in your soul, in your spirit, you are placing your trust in things that are not of me. If you place your trust in me, you will find your joy. You will find exuberance. You will find adventure. Yes, these days look dark to you and they will get darker. But just as my shepherd has said, I need for these days to get darker so that my brilliance can shine forth throughout the entire earth. Oh, my children, take heart. Look and see where your heart is and what are you trusting in? Is it the things of this earth? Is it the things you have? Is it the man that is set as a president in your country? Are these the things that you take heart in? I tell you, my scripture says, do not trust in chariots. Do not trust in these things. Trust only in me. Put your faith in me. Find out where your heart is and make sure you run to me and place it with me and take my hand. Oh, children, I have such adventures for you. You will be so amazed. Just trust in me. Find out where your heart is. Ask forgiveness if you need to, but reach for me and trust in me, me alone. I am still God and I tell you, I am on my throne and I am well aware of all things that are happening. I love you. Know that. Shall we judge this? If you believe this is from the Lord for us today, is Jesus in our midst speaking? Would you judge it by raising your hand? Yes and amen? Yes. Then let it be established and we thank you, Lord, that you speak in our midst. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, Father, sometimes we, we forget that we have to be in need at times to see how great you are. We forget that we have to see that um, how desperate we are before we can look to find out how big you can possibly be. That's why as we make you too small in our eyes and forget how great you truly are. Help us take our eyes off of our own comfort and our our own desires, Lord, so that we can look out into the universe and truly see your vast greatness. How big you are. Oh, how great you are. And how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our all we see, how great, how great is our God. Oh, 
Wow. Did you need that reminder today? I did. I needed that reminder. How great. How great he is. Um, so I we have just the basic announcements in that service tonight at 5, intercessory prayer at 10 on Tuesday. And then um, the offering basket is right there on the little table um, in front of the sound booth. We don't pass it around, as you know, because of all that stuff that's going around, you know, I, what it was called, something going, anyway. So, um, but if you would just, uh, if you have your offering or tithe, just pop it in that um, basket, Patty Warner, because you keep forgetting, but anyway, there you go. <laughs> you, you wanted me to remind you, so we called you out by name, but um, yeah, I, I've got it, Lish, thanks. Huh? Yeah, thank you. Um, I forgot there was something else I was going to say before that. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to say something before that. Thank you. Everybody's reminded me, so maybe I don't even need to tell you about Wednesday because everybody seems to know already. <laughs> oh, I should have written this down. It just flew out of my head. So rather than take up your time, um, we'll just go on to Wednesday. So yes, Wednesday. Um, we won't be having our regular service because we're going to have a little um, wonderful wedding celebration. And so um, that's going to be on Wednesday at 6 o'clock, um, 6.30 is when we're going to start the service. To give you those of y'all time, we don't want you coming in late for that. So we don't want you coming in late for a service either. But anyway, so it won't start till 6.30, those of you who have to work. If you can get here a little earlier, that's great. Don't Please don't wait till the very last minute to come because we'd like to get started right on time but the um there's a sign-up sheet because we want to have kind of a little taco thing going on afterwards and so um th there's just different elements of that uh, meal that you can bring and so it's back there on the cart so be sure to take a gander at it if you put your name on there and come tuesday night you have totally forgotten what you were supposed to bring don't call me you know so so just because I won't know Tuesday night. I might know on Wednesday because I'll be up here. But um, you can call me then. But don't call me Tuesday night, okay? I, I'd rather you not call me at all to remind, to tell you what you're bringing. That's what I'm going to say. So if you have a smartphone, take a picture of it before you leave. And that way you can be, remember what you're supposed to bring. If you don't have a smartphone, write it on your hand, you know, in permanent ink foreheads work for that really well too but you know that way everybody's going to re remind you oh what's lettuce on your forehead for you know then you could oh yeah thank you for reminding me <laughs> let us pray yeah <laughs> that's a good one Steve you're too quick so anyway um so anyway that's going on so if y'all can remember to get here on time on Wednesday and we'll have that wonderful celebration you have any questions about food or prep of it or anything like that just give Charlene a, a, a holler out because she's you know this is her Wendig so um, just talk to her about it 